Hey guys, and welcome to I Want My HTV Reviews. I'm Sarah, and today we are gonna be talking about the Hulu original movie, The Princess. The Princess tells the story of a princess whose kingdom is in need of an heir. However, she has a sister and no one can take the throne. So instead, she is kind of sold off to the highest bidder, and this guy is a monster. Shocker. So it seems the Prince Julius doesn't like to be left at the altar. So he drugs the princess, kidnaps the princess, and then threatens her family and the kingdom unless she will marry him, because that's how you get a woman, fellas. Joey King stars as the princess, Dominic Cooper stars as Julius, and he's actually my favorite part of the entire movie. His character is terrifying and incredibly believable, and he's just so good in these like grittier roles. Like I'm a huge fan of his since Preacher. How are you wanting? Almost done, Sheriff. However, this princess isn't your ordinary princess. No, she is not a damsel in distress. This princess is an undercover warrior. I like a girl in lace. The princess is directed by Lee Van Keet, who is not unfamiliar with the martial arts fighting world. And he definitely shows his expertise in this film. So while the princess is fighting her way through the castle, the story is told through a lot of different flashbacks showing us how she learned how to fight like this. And we learn that her friend Lynn is also her mentor. Lynn is played by Veronica No, who is a fantastic martial artist and a great actress. And pairing her with Joey King is fantastic. Not only have they become friends in real life, but really the heart of the story is also female friendship and family. And these two pull it off so well. My favorite scene with the two of them happens in a kitchen. You'll see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Not exactly ladylike behavior. <laughs> Joey King, as the fighting princess, worked really hard to learn martial arts and different fighting, so much so that she actually like hurt herself when she talked about in a junket we were able to attend. And the work pays off. She does such a good job of making every moment believable, of making the fights believable. So mad kudos to her and the team, because she did a great job and you made her look fantastic. I underestimated you. I'm used to that. Now, honestly, my biggest issue is the soundtrack, which I know they've talked about and are very proud of, but I actually think it all kind of drones on and sounds the same. So every cool fight scene is the same. Every like moment of action sounds the same. And there is so much fighting. It's literally like a transporter movie. Once she wakes up, the fights ensues and they never and except for every once in a while to like give her a breath and then like flashback to see how Julius is like torturing her family and then back to fighting we go. I honestly think that this movie could have done with a modern soundtrack like A Knight's Tale or any other like big shootout movie that happened in the last decade. Using modern music could have given such a fun, exciting and energetic feel and it didn't need to be in every fight scene but breaking it up a little bit so that the music sounds different and it brings an extra like, oh, that's so fun moment to the film would have taken the movie from entertaining and fine to freaking great. So if you're looking for a fun, entertaining popcorn movie to watch this weekend, check out The Princess on Hulu. You will definitely be entertained. I'm the princess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Sarah. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, thumbs up this video, comment, let me know what you think of the princess, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more angsty videos.